there's quite a lot of um, balance between the three or four of them. I think John Stewart from himself is a really good ball carrier. You know, he offloads before and after contact. Um, he's got some really good arrows. You know, his, his line out is getting stronger and stronger with um, charts and Lills developing him, you know, in the background. On top of that, his set piece is getting better, uh, you know, and he's working alongside the Dunny and, and so on. So I think for John, in the in the coming months, he's you know he's been unfortunate, obviously with COVID and a few uh, a few things with injury, so it's kept him behind. But it's been a great opportunity for him now to go with the twenties um, and obviously get that experience that he's you know probably not getting at the moment with uh, with the first team. Ewan brings just this humongous amount of energy and effort. You can see you know even in the Gloucester game, he he created opportunities by not giving up. Um, you know, second touches, opportunities to win breakdowns and, and follow the ball, you know, he's extremely good. Um, and outside of that, his attention to detail, he's getting better and better each week. So I think as he develops into the style that we want to play, he will just, you know, physically bring in um, more to his game. And I just think over the years, he will just get better and better. Because we've got four or five scrum ass, he's he's you know he's probably had opportunities to work on his game and his skill set away from, from necessarily playing. He's had a couple of introductions through um, Prem Cup, but I think from Tommy, his his attributes, he's just he's got an unbelievable skill set. He can pass, he can offload, he can step, accelerate, and he's one of those nines that you could probably put on a six-two bench quite easily. Um, outside of that, he's you know he's developing his middle third in game management. Um, and I think the more he gets opportunities here and, and with the 20s, he'll just come back stronger and have that voice to command the forwards and the pack. It's quite hard at the moment. I think you can probably tell that, you know, with COVID and the amount of opportunities with Prem games, you know, Prem, um, it's just not, and United games, there's probably just not as much opportunity around. Um, but for the 20s, you obviously all go into these little trial games and then they'll build the squad and from the squad, they then select, you know, um, a 26 that would go in and, and then play in the Six Nations. So for us, um, they get an opportunity to go out and express themselves and play, but they also get to bring back a bit of knowledge and, and confidence. You know, the 20s is, is, a, is a balance between development and performance. Um, and I just think that they, are th they thrive in those environments. And when you get to play other countries, they come back full of beans uh, and it's infectious. It, it, it filters through to the squad. For me, it's incredible because the, the amount of players now over the last two, three, four years that we've been bringing through, um, they're starting to play you know, for Bath. And I just think it's applying pressure on, on us to keep doing it. You know, our pathway coaches, would, you know, we're developing them all the way from under 15s. And to see them in the Bath colours especially and then play 20s, I, I think it's just a credit to our system. So, no, um, great achievement. And I just think the more we can keep doing it and creating this homegrown environment, the more we can bring players that are proud to play for the club.